What's up Beam Tribe and TFC community? Nick here and in this video I want to talk a little bit about orthotics and specifically I want to talk about getting out of your orthotics. If you want to go deeper into the topic of orthotics, dig into the research and really get into some of the nuance of why orthotics are so popular and how they really don't do what they're being said to do. Um, we did a podcast on the TFC Audio Project all about orthotics, so I would refer to that if you want more info. But today all I'm going to talk about is the process of getting out of orthotics. If you are someone that is using orthotics or supportive inserts in your shoes and you want to go and you want to become someone that doesn't require those, and everyone can do that, uh, the person who sold you the orthotics might not tell you that, but orthotics need to be thought of like a crutch. So if you break your leg, it's probably good that you use a crutch while the bone heals. Um, if you have serious foot pain and putting some sort of insert inside of your shoe alleviates that pain, in the short term it can be a good tool to use to reduce the amount of suffering. Now, just like a crutch can be used after you break your leg, but the goal is to always get rid of the crutch, right? The goal is to always get rid of the orthotics and get back to restoring optimal function. Now, when you're getting rid of a crutch, it's gradual and it has to do with you self-regulating based on how you feel. Same thing with orthotics. So, you know, a lot of people say do it gradually. The thing with orthotics is when you put an artificial support under your foot, it changes how your body acknowledges movement, right? That is a piece of data that your body um, takes in, calculates in terms of how it should solve the problem of movement, and then it considers that external support in how it creates good solutions. And so the longer you have orthotics in, the longer you're going to confuse your body about how to get back to normal, optimal function, because there's still some external variable that it's considering. Um, and so oftentimes what I recommend is start by going barefoot around your home. And funny enough, most people who use orthotics are actually okay going barefoot, um, spending time in natural shoes, for example. It happens very, very quickly. Where they do have some issues is with activities um, that require high impact loads. So things like running, jumping, training. Um, and it's not actually that getting rid of the orthotics is causing the problem, it's that the orthotics themselves created a problem which you now have to resolve. Okay, so your body has to essentially relearn how to use all of the stabilizer muscles in your foot because they've basically been on holidays for as long as you've been using orthotics. Um, now there's a bunch of things that can definitely help Loosening up your foot with a lacrosse ball can be very helpful. Um, buying a good pair of natural shoes and using them as much as possible with no orthotic in them is a very powerful way to rebuild this base capacity of foot conditioning, of mobility in the joints of the foot. Because one thing people underestimate is that, okay, if you wear an orthotic that supports your foot, that orthotic is typically very rigid and that rigidity has a consequence on the mobility of the joints of your foot. So you have to essentially remobilize and reteach your brain that you have a bunch of joints in each foot. Right? You have 26 bones and 33 joints in each foot. If your orthotics have prevented you from ever using those and prevented you from ever needing to use the muscles of your feet, you need to recondition them. So think of it like um, you had an injury and you spent two months in a wheelchair. You now, when you get out of the wheelchair, have to rebuild your mobility, your ability to fight gravity, your strength, and the same thing with orthotics, okay? So it's a process, it happens significantly quicker than most people think, um, and you are your best scientist when it comes to determining the best way to get out of your orthotics. And one really powerful tool is keeping a daily log. Um, some people call this journaling, I call it data collection. Uh, you have to find out a way to externalize your memory onto something like a sheet of paper so that you can go back and review things because we don't remember exactly what happened each day, how we felt, where we had pain, how we were feeling, how much we were able to do without discomfort. All of these things, if you write them down, they can be a very short note once a day, can be a very powerful tool to self-regulate and determine whether you should be doing more or whether you should be doing less. Um, but you have to be your best advocate. You have to tune in to how does your body feel. If you feel good, do more. If you're sore or in pain, do less and do some maintenance work. Roll out your foot. Um, put some toe spreaders on to kind of re-splay out your foot and give it the ability to support itself. So it's a lot of people are intimidated by getting out of orthotics. It's actually a very liberating process to never have to put inserts into your shoe. It's a significantly better option when it comes to restoring a natural pain-free body, right? We are not born or 
you know, humans aren't adapted to put inserts into their shoes. We're actually not even adapted to wear shoes. We do have to now in order to protect our feet, but most shoes compromise our foot strength and mobility. Orthotics do that to an even greater extent. Okay, so um, when getting out of orthotics, be patient. Um, understand that you are doing the right thing to get back natural, resilient, robust, strong feet. Um, and just, yeah, listen to your body, take down some notes, uh, and you'll get to a point very quickly where you don't have to use your orthotics at all and you never have to use them again, just like ditching the crutch once your leg is healed. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a clearer picture of just being feeling empowered that you have the potential and you are the primary person who needs to direct your pathway of escaping orthotics. And when you do, it's a significantly better move in the direction of health. Thanks for watching.